That's right. We could see some snow over this week, and it's not high probability here for Midland that we see a whole ton, but the northern counties, especially in the higher elevation, certainly could see uh, maybe an inch or two of snow. Now, we've seen some pretty cold temperatures so far this winter, but we haven't really seen a whole ton of snowfall. We typically get about 4.1 inches of snow per year, and we haven't gotten that. We've only seen a trace of snow so far in 2024, which fell back on January 26th, which probably went unnoticed by a lot of people just because we didn't see any accumulation on the ground. So people didn't notice. We also saw a trace back on December 23rd. By the way, January happens to be the snowiest month um, over the year. January is now over. We typically get 1.6 inches. So we're behind schedule compared to what we average or what we typically uh, get for any given year. Now, West Texas is not immune to heavy snowfall. We've seen some pretty snowy years in the past. 2020 was actually the snowiest year on record. We got almost 13 inches of snowfall. 1992 comes in second place with over a foot. 2007 and third, 2011 and fourth, and 2015 in fifth place. Now, surprisingly, this data goes back to 1948. Four of the five snowiest years on record all occurred since the year 2000. So some pretty uh, surprising data there. Now, like I said, we're probably not going to see a whole lot of snow here for Midland and Odessa, and it's probably not going to accumulate on the roads, but Maybe you're driving up towards Lubbock or out in the higher elevations, Fort Davis, Marfa. We could see some snow on the road. It's certainly a possibility. And if you encounter that, it's a good idea to slow down. You don't want to drive the speed limit when there's snow on the ground. Speed limits are meant for normal driving conditions. And also give yourself some space. You don't want to tail or, uh, tailgate the person right in front of you. Give yourself about three times the normal distance from the car in front of you. And if you do happen to lose control, be sure to ease off the gas and the brakes. You also want to steer into the direction that you are sliding, and that's the best way to stay safe on the roads.